In this video, we're going to find out if cheap gaming speakers are really worth it. These are the Fifine Amplagame A20 speakers. They're budget-friendly speakers with some personality geared toward those not wanting to break the bank with their gaming setup. Just how budget-friendly are we talking about here? Well, these can be had for under 50 bucks. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you the upgraded model whose price is also pretty wild. So, let's get into it. A couple of things before we start. One, Fifine did send me these speakers offering me the opportunity to take a look at them. I encourage you to take a look at the ethics policy on my website so you can understand how I handle these types of arrangements, but the TLDR of it is, just because they sent me this doesn't mean it's guaranteed a good review, and Fifine will not be seeing this video before you do. Everything you're about to hear are my own thoughts and opinions. And second, I am not an audiophile. We're not going to be doing a deep dive into anything other than how it looks and would sound to the average consumer, so if you're here hoping for anything more than that, this video isn't for you. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at the A20 speaker and see if we have something special here. Taking a look at the hardware first. The speakers have a plastic build, which isn't a surprise given the price, but what's a little more surprising is the weight of these guys. The speakers are pretty small, but they have some heft to them. For some context, look at them next to an iPhone 15 Pro Max. They're USB powered, so you can plug them directly into your computer or really any USB power adapter, and then take 3.5mm audio jack and plug it into your device of choice. The design kind of reminds me of a house when you have it laying on its back. You can see here on the bottom some rubber feet for a better grip on whatever surface you want to place these on, and on the front we have some buttons. On one speaker we have the volume up and down button, and on the other we have a combo power and mute button. You press and hold the button to turn the speakers on or off and just press it normally to mute and unmute your audio. But by far the star of the show here is the LED light strip going down the middle of both speakers. Because come on, you can't call them gaming speakers without some LED lighting going on, right? There is a manual that comes in the box that can give you the rundown on the different lighting options, but there are a total of seven different lighting modes and seven different colors. For colors, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. For the different lighting modes, we have one that is just your static color of choice, one that cycles through the colors in this gradient-like effect, one that cycles through the colors, this dual raindrop-like effect that also cycles through all the colors, a mode that pulses through the different colors, this simple up and down effect, and lastly, a mode similar to the dual raindrop-like effect from earlier, but with two different colors meeting in the middle. To control the lighting, you simply tap on this icon up here. And don't worry, if you think the lighting is too distracting, then a long press will turn them off. So, let's get to the sound. I mean, these are speakers, by the way. You're not buying these for the pretty lights. Or maybe you are, but you still want them to sound good, right? So, how do they sound? Well, let's take a listen. Okay, so they sound pretty good. Um, actually, a lot better than I expected. Sounds pretty clear. Uh, the bass is a little lacking, but I mean, I can still jam out to what I'm hearing. Now, these aren't going to replace like a HomePod or a Sonos speaker. Obviously, that would be asking a little bit too much of these guys, but these little guys hold their own. Now, what I don't like about these speakers. First would be the branding. I'm a fan of clean looking design with minimal to no blatant branding plastered all over a product. You can see here we have this big Five Fine logo just running down the side of one of the speakers that's a little distracting. Also distracting is the touch sensitive icon for the LED lighting on the top of the right speaker. I wish it would have had a more minimalistic design that blended better into the speaker. Plus, it would have been nice to have the same touch sensitive feature on the left speaker. The touch sensitive function is only available on the right speaker. There's also the hassle of having to continuously cycle through the different lighting modes to get to the one you're looking for. And lastly, there's no way to tell on the speaker itself that you've muted the sound. With all the lighting going on here, I, I feel like some indicator just showing you that the speakers are muted would have been nice. But look, I'm nitpicking a $50 speaker. For what it is and how it sounds, I don't think there's much room to complain here. It's pretty amazing for the price. But if you wanted a little more, Fifine does have you covered. But before we get into that, if you're getting any value out of this video, 
I'd really appreciate a thumbs up below to help out the channel. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video. This is the Amplagame A22 speaker, and not only does it come with a left and right speaker, but also a subwoofer. Now, it's a small sub, nothing earth shattering here, but the crazy thing here again is the price. The A22 can be had for only $72.99. So, for about $20 more, you get a complete speaker system that includes all the cables you need to get started with an additional feature that makes this speaker my preferred option. And that would be Bluetooth. So, not only can you use these for your desk setup, but because of their size, you can take them on the go as well. And the A22 solves the little problems I had with the A20 speaker. Like the branding. Look how clean and simple the speakers look, and they still have that neat LED light strip effect. Everything is controlled from the sub with clean, simple to read buttons, including an EQ button for different sound modes like gaming or movies or music. And the sound again is pretty impressive. So all in all, these are some pretty great options if you're looking for some affordable speakers. I would really recommend them for uh, beginner gamers getting their gaming setup going. And to help, I have a discount code in the description that you can use to get an even better deal on the A20 speaker. Something that would pair really well with these speakers is this really affordable mic I did a review on. So you can click on the thumbnail, it's either here or here before the video ends to watch that. But I hope this video was able to help you out and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.